Hi, it's Stephen Orr, and today I'm going to talk about everybody's favorite summer flower hydrangeas because nothing looks better in a summer garden than these beautiful flower heads. So one of the things people get most confused about is when to prune their hydrangeas or if they need to prune them at all because everybody's afraid of cutting off all these beautiful flowers when they prune. First thing I'll say is that you don't really have to prune if you don't want to. Um, most people prune hydrangeas more than they need to be pruned. You can actually look and see how the bush is growing. Um, some plants get a little bit tall or, or kind of um, floppy. Those are plants you might want to prune and you just need to know what time of year to do it. The two big groups are the macrophylla group Macrophylla means big leaf, hydrangea. These are the plants that have these big beautiful green leaves and those green stemmed hydrangeas need to be pruned um, after they bloom and you'll get blooms for next year. So they bloom uh, better that way. On the other hand, uh, the paniculata hydrangeas, you want to prune those, they're woody stemmed, and you want to prune these in the early spring. So you kind of think of them in two big types. There's more types than that, but we're gonna keep it simple. Like with any shrub, it's pretty easy to plant hydrangeas. You can plant them at most any time of spring, summer, or fall. Um, you plant them to the depth that they're at in their pot. Also, you wanna look at the guidelines on the um, instruction tag to make sure that you space them properly, because some of them get really, really large, like an oak leaf hydrangea, and other ones are bred to be dwarfed, so they only take up a little bit of room. And then the second big tip for success is you need to make sure you water. And hydrangeas, if you kind of think about the name hydrangea, hydra, that means water. And since it has water in its name, you're pretty much going to be assured that it wants a lot of irrigation. So one of the things I notice in hot weather when I come home is that even a day or two of no rain, some of the hydrangeas will really start to wilt. They may look dead, but give them a good dose of water and they'll perk back up. We have one here for you today. Um, this guy, I'll put him right here in the front. Uh, this guy here, sorry I'm in a forest of hydrangeas, but this guy, you know, basically went only a weekend without water and look what happened to him. So if you get a situation like this, this plant is not going to be pretty for the rest of the year. So what you need to do is just make sure it's well watered and then I would just cut off all the flower heads and aim to get everything back to green leaves like these. So just wherever you see green leaves, start clipping back there. This plant is not going to look good this season, but it actually will bounce back for next season. So just cut all these flower heads off and you'll be able to save the plant. So following these few simple guidelines, you're going to have beautiful hydrangea blooms for years to come.